All right, let's talk about Spotlight Edge Detect. In order to do that, uh, let's hit the comma key on our keyboard, go into Tool, double click the demo head, hit the comma key, drag the demo head out on our canvas, go into Edit Mode, and we'll turn off Perspective. Uh, I don't need the eyeballs in this case, so I'm gonna go select the Eye Subtool, hit Delete. And now I'm going to import a picture of a head. So I'm going to hit uh, the texture menu up here. We're going to go into import and we're going to grab a head JPEG. Go in here to texture, select that head, do the plus minus sign for spotlight. Uh, I'll give you a quick overview of the basics of spotlight. But again, if you want to dive deeper, go to my YouTube channel, Google spotlight on it and you, you could find it. So it'll go through all the fundamentals. Uh, basically, we can use this one here, the scale. Just click and drag any of these widget items to go through and scale this image down. You can click and move, uh, click the tap and move, and you can also click the tap to set the pivot, or you can just grab the orange circle and set that pivot where you want. Once that pivot is set, you can move, scale, and rotate, you know, from that position uh, if you'd like. So, for instance, you know, I can set this eyeball here, and then I can scale from the eyeball and match. Uh, I can also go out of this widget mode, so I can tap Z on my keyboard, and that'll go into basically either, you know, sculpting or poly painting through Spotlight. Uh, and I can, you know, move, scale, and rotate my object behind Spotlight. So between those two options, tapping Z and then tapping Z again to get rid of uh, Spotlight, and then Shift-Z to turn Spotlight off completely, and then Z to turn it back on. So Shift-Z to turn it off, Z to turn it on, and then just keep tapping Z to tag toggle uh, widget and not widget. So if we're in widget mode, we can... You know, change our scale and any of these properties, we can go through here and turn the opacity down. But you can still see it's kind of hard to tell the features from the face. So what we can do is we can go Z back into widget mode. There's a new edge detect in here. And what edge detect is going to do is look at our image and try and find the edges of our image and then give us a tolerance of that edge detection and then the pixel size of it. Basically, if I click the edge detect and then do left or right, this is going to be the tolerance. So how many, how much of these edges is it? Is it grabbing a bunch of edges or is it just grabbing the main edges? And then up and down is the pixel size. So here we're kind of grabbing just the main edges and then upping the pixel size a little bit uh, to kind of dial that in. Now the colors it's choosing, it's pulling from your colors over here. So if we want to, uh, if you want to undo this, just hit control Z and it'll undo that in our, that operation in our spotlight. And then we can go over here. Uh, we can say for the background, we'll choose red. For the foreground, we'll choose yellow. And then if I go back into Edge Detect, and again, up and down to choose our edges, and then left to right to do, I'm sorry, left to right to do tolerance and up and down to do pixels, uh, you can see it's going to choose red and yellow. Of course, if you want the background to be transparent, that color needs to be black. So let's go ahead and Control Z. We'll choose a black color for our background color. And then again, when we do Edge Detect, instead of white, It'll be yellow. So if it's easier to see on your model a different color, then feel free to change that foreground color. So now you can use your edges to kind of line this up here. So once we've changed this, now if you do go in here and move this around, you don't want to hit undo because it's going to undo those movements. In this instance, what you want to do is go to here to restore. So click restore and then click and drag up and it'll just restore back to the original image. So you've positioned your image using edges, you've restored it back. And now if you want to model, you can go through here with your move brush and we'll go ahead and uh, turn that back to white. So again, you can move, scale, and rotate, and sculpt through Spotlight if you'd like. Uh, you can also color through Spotlight. So if we turn on RGB and turn on Z-Add, uh, by default, it's not going to do anything. You can go in here to Brush, Samples, turn on Spotlight Projection, and now you can literally just paint that texture directly on your model. If we do Shift-Z, that'll turn it off. It's poly painting, so if you need more resolution, just go down here to Geometry, hit Divide a couple times, hit Shift-Z to turn Spotlight back on. In fact, let's go to like a skin shader material. And then we can paint this on and it's going to paint through spotlight onto your model here. Of course, edge detection might be cool to use on other things too. So if we do a Z to go back into spotlight mode, uh, we can go back up in here into texture. We can go in here to import and you can grab any texture you want, or we'll just go ahead and grab one that's in the texture palette. Go ahead and grab that ZBrush logo. Uh, so with that selected, we'll say add to spotlight. So here we have this texture added. Uh, this texture we don't need anymore, so I'm going to hit this delete and get it out of our scene. Uh, we can go ahead and zoom out a little bit and we can scale this down just a bit. So again, if we want to make the foreground color red, we can go through here and make the foreground color red. We can do an edge detect on this one again, up and down, left and right to kind of dial in the look you're going for. We can move it over this. We can hit Z, we can put it position our face behind here. We can go into standard brush with RGB turned on. Uh, we'll go ahead and turn off X symmetry. And then now we can literally just paint these red edges from this logo 
right onto that face. And then Shift-Z to turn that off. Pretty cool. Uh, also, we can go ahead and hit Z for Spotlight. And if you're familiar with the Snapshot 3D functionality of Spotlight, uh, you can go ahead and just hit that, and that'll turn it into real geometry. So if we do Shift-Z, now we have real geo sitting here. So we can scale this down, and now we have a cool uh, edge-detected logo in here. You can go in and, I don't know, maybe hit the gear icon, do a bend arc, and we can maybe bend this backwards a little bit, crank that radius down, and get a cool bendy ZBrush logo <laughs> created from geometry, again, from our edge detection in Spotlight.